Hi guys and welcome back to our channel. My name is Dominic and behind the camera is my brother Patrick and we're the Maru brothers and today we have an exquisite home for you in the exclusive residential area of Zagaleta. Before we start the tour, what a stunning car. It fits perfectly to this home. It's a Bentley GT Azure thanks to see the Salamanca Bentley Marbella for giving us this ride. But now off to the home guys. This is the backyard of the house. The main drive-in is from there and it really sets the tone and the mood of the entire house. We have palm trees stretching 10 meters up into the air, manicured gardens, a carport here as well, water fountain, just a beautiful setting to arrive to your own home. And now I would say, let's start the tour. Grand entrance into a grand home, ladies and gentlemen. It's gonna be our pleasure to show it to you fully. It literally just hit the market right now as we publish the video. Main entry, we have two picture windows bringing natural light into the entry foyer. From where? Switch back staircase leads you to the first floor where there are two bedrooms en suite. We have a guest toilet here. We have some cupboard spaces, an ottoman, mirrors, a lot of crown molding already, setting the mood of what we will experience throughout the entire tour. Let's move on to the main living room area, which we have right here. This would be your formal living room area. Two couches, big fan actually of the coffee tables, which have been finished with the mirrors kind of reflect the space, making this place look bigger. We have coffered ceiling as well with recessed lighting, more molding throughout the entire space, two chairs, another ottoman here, and of course an entire more informal lounge area here. Millwork is fantastic in the entire house. Build-ins, we have some open shelving as well. Fireplace, which can't be missing in a home. And I love the plastered marble on top of it. And there is a button that I'm gonna press, which I didn't know, and it exposes the TV that is hidden behind the book matched marble that is plastered onto the fireplace. Pretty neat. We have L-shaped couches here, nice carpet that goes throughout to subdivide the space. We also have humongous tiling here. If I'm not mistaken, it's one meter 50 by one meter 50. And that spreads out throughout the entire level here. Now, the best part about this home is this area. Let's have a look. And that is the position of this plot. It's one of the best plots we have seen in Zagaleta because of the views that it offers. It's panoramic. At the far end, we see Gibraltar, where we actually were, Patrick and I, the other day. A fun experience if you want to see some monkeys and have a bit of a British vibe going on. Here you would have the garden area, stairs that lead down to your infinity swimming pool, and of course an entire chill out section here designed for you to come, have a nice red wine, enjoy the afternoon sun, or simply relax. All right, let's go back inside. We have five bedrooms in this house. We have two further ones above the garage, and it's gonna be my pleasure to show it to you, but first and foremost, the passageway that leads us to the bedrooms is already elegant, light lit, exposed wooden beams, a nice view out to your manicured front and backyard, and of course, this dome right above me, nice and airy, captivating to say the least. And now this will be probably the best positioned bedroom we have ever seen, and do let us know if you agree. Let's check it out. Because when you come in, uh, this bed is centrally positioned and it gives you an absolutely picture frame view out to the Mediterranean Sea, and it has to be the best position for a bed I've ever experienced. More built-ins here. We also have the ceiling cove, indirect lighting, more builds in there dental moldings at the side. This is what I mean, maybe a step closer, Patrick, because these little elements like the dental molding are the ones that give this home a classic sort of elegance in fusion with a more contemporary design. Ensuite bathroom, more of a barn sort of glass sliding door to separate the space. We have a one sink vanity here with nice natural stone. Fittings are from Hans and Gröhr, Axon. The same marble or natural stone throughout, as I discussed at the beginning, and just there is the toilet, not really gonna show it. But here you get to see 
that the entirety of this room or the idea behind it was to maximize one's view out to the sea from where you lie and I have to say it's just mind-boggling because it's probably one of the coolest bedrooms I've ever seen and if you agree let us know in the comment sections because what can beat this flawless view out to nature to the sea I don't know Patrick what are your thoughts yes it is very very good property good placed well I, like I mean it. this bedroom itself it's amazing Patrick yes <laughs> it is amazing we also have a TV set up here like how it's more disruptive with the pole that holds it together it's from Samsung kind of disrupts this clean flow that the bedroom enjoys working desk right here and there just a closet where I hang my clothes that I came in spacious enough for anything you need it to be cool that's it with the coolest bedroom with the best position we have seen there are two feather bedrooms on the left wing of the house let's look at them right let's continue to two feather bedrooms once again this entire passageway was only created to guide you to the two bedrooms that we're going to explore picture window natural light coming in wooden beams a beautiful collision of different elements now this would be the landing for the two bedrooms where you would come and chill sofa tv storage room bedroom one and bedroom two let's start with this one what i like about this one first you have that view outwards obviously you want to see the sea when you have a home worth millions also nicely put together are the panels that subdivide the room and the wall breaking the space together a little bit also with wallpaper matching the bed cushions and everything else there's also a little working space here the arches here are also super elegant cupboard spaces with nice black knobs and this ensuite bathroom Needless to say, it's a one sink vanity, drawer set up right underneath, big mirror, recessed in lightings, and a shower from Axor there. You probably have seen it in the detail shots. I'm not gonna go into too much explanation there. Further on, this would be bedroom number two on the left side of it. Once again, the same applies. It's sort of mirrored from the one we have just seen. Big window giving you view out. This one actually lets you look at a tree, cork tree to be specific which is a nice contrast to just to see. The same wall break up with the panels and the wallpaper behind. Solid room. Which one would you pick, Patrick? This one. Why? It has a darker touch to it. I like what it. What about this? Let's have a quick look because and this one- And it has one, a bathtub in here. Exactly, this one features a bathtub, this barn style sliding glass doors. As you can see, the hinges are on the roller blades up there. One sink vanity drawer set up underneath. Indirect lighting recessed lighting too. Everything you basically need is here. And that is it with three bedrooms that we have seen on this level. Now I would say we head upstairs, take the staircase which has just recently been added with a carpet and a waterfall feature going from the bottom all the way up. Just a nice little touch. And I'm super impressed by the way. I don't know if you get to see it, but these tiles, one, Probably 130, 120 by 120. Humongous. Now let's take the staircase up and see you on the first level. Placing a rug on stairs actually gives the home a warmer feel to it. There's also big wooden panels laid out throughout the entire first floor. Bedroom number one, let's look. Cute, a little bit smaller than the two bedrooms we have seen below. Access point out to a terrace as well, and a nice little swing chair. Perfect, and I very much like this hexagon style ceiling what do you think doesn't need to be but looks very nice <laughs> patrick yeah I'm, right. a, I'm a very simple man let's walk into here maybe it's a perfect time to show yourself in the mirror hi guys so that's my brother cupboard spaces mirrors inbuilt and your ensuite bathroom like how they used the same material on the one sink vanity here as they did on the walls. We have a shower, toilet, bathtub, natural light coming in, perfect. And once again, the detailing above gives this home more of a classic 
feel, as mentioned before. Now, the main bedroom on this level, I wouldn't call it the main bedroom in general because they very much like the first bedroom we have seen. I would have chosen it instead of this one, but yeah, this is it's not bad either. Let's have a look. We have this big bed frame. Right in front is the bed. Behind, we also have cupboards. You're seeing that in the detail shot, which is a nice invention. It serves two purposes. More inbuilt, pyramid-shaped ceiling, recessed lighting, indirect lighting, couch, and once again, this disruptive pole holding the television set. And behind me, the entirety has been laid out with wallpaper as well, matching the curtains. It's nicely and delicately decorated. Terrace, let's look. Nice little couch set up here to come and relax. There is the first bedroom we saw on this level, so it also has the access point out. And of course, this breathtaking view, which unfortunately is slightly blurred because the wind is quite extreme today, bringing clouds and casting a mystic, milky look onto things at a far distance. But hey, it is what it is. Let's go back inside because we still have the ensuite bathroom to show you, so vamos. Voila. Ensuite bathroom, one vanity to my left, one to the right. Let's focus on this one because they're identical, nicely laid with natural stone. This one has an incline as well, axor fittings and tabs, drawer set up underneath, the walls and angles wallpapered, indirect lighting from the mirror and recessed lighting, bathtub, which cannot be missing. And of course the same here as I explained just seconds ago. To be honest, a bathtub could be missing for me. I'm not such a big fan of bathtubs. I always like to say you should bath at least once a month. A month? But that's just my personal experience. So Hans and Gruer taps and fittings here. Hello. Of course, a nice little niche for your shampoos. We actually brought some for you to get a better idea of how it works. Anyways, you get the drift. So a nice niche for that. And of course, just here, Patrick will zoom in. There's the toilet and the bidet, which is still existent in this house, interestingly. Big fan of bidets. Yeah, most of the modern homes don't have bidets anymore. It kind of became obsolete. I don't know why, but that's just what it. And I like the cushion become. in the middle. Yeah, it's, it's convenient. I like to sit down when I brush my teeth. I'm not gonna show you if that looks weird. <laughs> when I brush my teeth, I like to sit down. There's a little fun fact for you guys. Get to know Dom, he likes Dominic to sit down. Dominic brushes his teeth as well. Yeah, sitting like down. Like every other human. Sitting down, although a lot of people don't brush teeth. Anyways, wow, this is beautiful. This is your walk-in closet. Got this kind of closet island right in the middle with drawers underneath. And this entire layout would be for one person and this for the other, a lot of space. Right now there's stuff inside, so I'm not gonna let you guys look but I'm a big fan that you can close them down as well, avoiding them to get dusty. Track lighting as well as recess lights, giving you a great illumination here. And of course, a big mirror right there. So maybe Patrick, you wanna... Not the only one. There's one. Point the mirror out. And there's another one. Yes. So, so that is it, yeah. Wait, stay there. We also have a lot of baseboard molds going out through the entire house. A lot of casing at the door frames as well, which match the entirety of the baseboards. For instance, here you can see it's been painted in the same way as the baseboard, so it's a nice continuation of that. And now, let's go and check out the dining area and kitchen. If you enjoyed it so far, give us thumbs up, leave something in the comment section for us to read. Now, fun fact, from the end of the corridor, where there's the division to the left and to the right, and to the end of that corridor, we have 24 meters. So yeah, that's a lot of space. You could even run it to keep fit. We have a wall and a door that guides us to the office. A lot of millwork going on. You have the built-in cupboards as well and open shelves here for your books. A lot of woodwork. We have here once again the dental molds going on. Here you would sit and work. And if you enjoy to watch some TV, you can do that here or make a fire. There's also, if you actually look upstairs, hopefully you get it, 
sort of coffered ceiling replica as the one we've seen in the living room. Usually coffered ceilings bring a sort of elegance into a room, but they also absorb sound. In this case, I don't think its purpose is to absorb sound, but just to look pretty and elegant. And yeah, 24 meters from there all the way here. Now we would have the dining area. Let's look. Spacious. Once again, sort of the coffered ceiling going on with deep sockets and on the ceiling we have mirrors that kind of make this space seem bigger. A dining table for 12 people, natural stone, which is also book matched, which is great, going from one end to the other. And of course, an outdoor dining area that I'm gonna show you now. Nicely covered, shaded, come here, enjoy your dinner with friends. Got a slight breeze coming. As I said, the wind is picking up today. A perfect space for you to eat outdoors. We have sliding glass doors that close this space from inside and outside. And using that door over there, we're gonna be going to the kitchen where we're heading off right now. This would be your informal dining area. Nice round table. You know, come in the morning, have breakfast with your children. TV set up. Natural light coming in through the big window there. It's kind of like a window bay. And of course, your open plan kitchen, like the color coding they went for, very soothing, especially in combo with the more whiter, you know, woodwork that we have in the house. We have a twin fridge here from Gaggenau, freezer and fridge. Appliances are built in from Siemens. Obviously, we have here cupboards, the usual sink, Siemens induction with the extractor built into the kitchen island. Here we have sockets, more working space over there, indirect lighting underneath, cupboards there too. Great, and another, if you come here, another sink with the view outwards to your carport and front yard with the 10 meter palm trees, which are just super beautiful and more space too. Put your things here, probably the dishwasher here, etc. Now, let's go outside real quick. Garage space, two cars, one car there, and probably a few bikes. Currently, it's occupied and we cannot show it. Right above the garage, we have a studio apartment with two bedrooms, totaling the home's bedrooms count to seven, five in the main house, and two over there for your staff, for your teenage children, whatever floats your boat. That's the entry we took. Passing that, we have this beautiful drive-in from the main road of Zagaleta, or one of the many main roads. And this is the drive-in to the main entry that we took. And gee, this is just so idyllically beautiful. It blew my mind. We have a massive retainer wall. It is and the biggest we have seen yet. It's I must the say. biggest retainer wall for sure. Nice that they have planted the trees to kind of blend in with the more concrete looking material, water fountain on the far end and pedal stones installed. There is an entire basement with an indoor swimming pool and a gym that we're gonna show you. So hold your horses and let's go. I'm gonna close this door. There's also a laundry room there, but it's occupied at the moment. So we're not gonna shoot it. But if you do visit the home, book a tour with Marbella Mountain Resort, you'll see that there's a laundry room and I did so say that there is one. Staircase leading you down to the basement. Let's have a look. Indoor swimming pool, lounge chairs here. Fantastic. Come here, chill. Got a jet spray that just shoots out water. Do a couple of laps. Maybe go to your gym right over there and do a little training session. You can also take the glass sliding door out, wrap around and go to your outdoor swimming pool if that's what you fancy. This would be your home gym, very utile. It's probably got everything you need. Bench press, leg press, the hamstrings. You've got your running machine, TV setup again, boxing to let out some of the anger that you might have, free weights from Diamond. Yeah, I must say it's one of the better equipped gyms I've seen yet. No? It's very compact and probably very utile. So you could do every sort of exercise you want here. Yeah, like two people could train at the same time easily. Yeah. You got a one sink vanity here with polished travertine stone. It's different to the ones we have seen. And of and course, my favorite. Patrick's favorite, 
sauna. The sauna. The sauna, very elegant, pine wood. And here, we... You know you just scared me. Yeah, <laughs> I did. Here we have a toilet. Just and I, goes and punches the bag out of nowhere, too. Let's go inside because this is quite, there. quite interesting because the entire bathroom is wrapped around with travertine stone, the polished one. It's actually got, it's not polished, it's raw travertine with a glazing on top because the flooring on the bottom hasn't got this glazing and it's wrapped around here. It's quite an exciting room to use, exciting. I have to say. And here we have shower with the same travertine marble and an access point out to the garden which we'll be showing you soon because we still have one bedroom in the basement to show you, so let's go. All right, going out of the indoor swimming pool area, we have a bodega here that you're seeing in the detail shots. Like how they used a more antique looking classic door, wooden door instead of something uber modern, which wouldn't really fit into this home. And this would be a storage room and the last bedroom. Let's have a look. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna hop upstairs and beam myself to the garden area, so let's go. I like this Italian, Spanish, Mediterranean style of the architecture in mix with classic and contemporary interiorism. It's fantastic. As I said, this would be your garden landing and you have a staircase, dual one on each side that leads you down to the swimming pool area. Let's go. All right, swimming pool, infinity edge. Big lounge chairs and a little cave, I were to call it as such, which allows you to position a couch in it, worktops, a sink, maybe even a little barbecue setup, why not? As I mentioned, the sinks, drawers, closets underneath. And I like the little jungle theme in the back. Yeah. It's nice. It's cool, it's maybe a place you can cool off if there's too much sun, but guys, we're in June and right now, we're having kind of a questionable weather Got these really eerie looking clouds forming. Probably if you look this way, we started the tour in the morning. It was crystal clear and now the clouds came out of nowhere. Confusing. Anyway. Still warm and amazing. I shouldn't complain on such a high level. Ladies and gentlemen, this was a Mario Brothers production. The home is listed with Marbella Mountain Resorts. If you are interested, we left the contact details in the description box. And yeah, guys, big thank you to see the Salamanca and Bentley Marbella for the car. Patrick, it was awesome to work with you. Do you want to say something? It was also awesome working with you, Dominic. <laughs> so much fun we had today, right? We did, actually. It sounded yeah. very sarcastic. Yeah, nearly crashed the drone. Nearly crashed him. That was good. All right, thank you very much again. My hair is crazy. It's no cappy day for so people who know me. Right, Dominic? So what should I say more? Then thank you for joining. Stay tuned, like and subscribe, and see you next time. Peace.